once a year. I get away for about three days to northern Minnesota, along with the rest of the staff here at, uh, we call it Shalom House, it's part of our denomination, one of the great benefits of belonging to Converge Worldwide. And what I do on these uh, three days is to tackle uh, my biography that I give at the conference for pastors at the end of the month. So I try to finish up reading that I'm doing, so I just finished uh, Constrained by His Love, a new biography on Robert Murray McShane by Van Vallen. And, uh, and then what I do after I've read as much as I can read is I take one of these and I, I put it on my head like this and turn on and I go to my computer and I dictate quotes from here into there. I used to type them out by hand, it took me forever, but now I dictate them and it's close enough. You know, it's not perfect, but it's close enough. And then when I have maybe 60 pages of quotes from the reading that I've done, I take uh, several days and just try to assimilate them until an idea emerges for how to do the, the biography. And of course I'm doing um, McShane this year and uh, McShane died when he was 29, and I just turned uh, 65 yesterday. So I've had way more years than I deserve, and I'm really fascinated to know why did a man who only lived 29 years um, make such an impact that we would be doing a biography of him 150 years later. So I think one of the keys is, is that he was profoundly passionate about the ultimate realities of Christ, his reconciling work with God, and the ultimate issues of heaven and hell. You read his sermons and they have the, the aroma of eternity about them. He sounds a lot like Jonathan Edwards, in fact, whom he, he loved, who lived a hundred years before he did. So, uh, pray for me as I try to finish up uh, my preparations, the uh, the conference for pastors is in a couple of weeks, and these are always pressured weeks, but I love doing what I'm doing, uh, both coming back to Bethlehem and in working on this biography.